Hey everybody, time for a bit of coffee and chat. I've got the banana bread happening and my black coffee, I'll be right over. <sighs> there you go everybody. Wow, check that out. My banana bread, this is the last of the pieces of banana bread that I showed you the other day. And um, yes, I'm sad to see it all go, but I do enjoy my banana bread. Mmm. I just got to let the, the cats in. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Mmm, there you go. Well, if you see some tails going past, you'll know what it's all about. I start work again tomorrow. And of course, I live in Bensdale, the work is in Melbourne, so what's going to happen? I've got to catch the train. Tonight will be my first experience of the new Velocity trains, I think they're called. Country trains that operate here in Victoria. And I've got to catch it at the Bensdale station tonight. It's about a two and three quarter hour ride that I've got to take. I'll have the camera with me and uh, try and make a bit of a video about that whole experience. Uh, it's a pretty good train trip. I went on the old train, which I think was called the Gippslander, which was like the diesel at the front and the carriages behind. And that was a great train ride. So it'll be interesting to see what the difference is with these new sort of all-in-one carriage type things. I'll get a bit of video and you can have a good look at it. Uh, so yeah, start work tomorrow and then three days next week. We'll be back home on the weekend in between. But for the next six weeks, I'm doing three days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of each week. Back at uh, um, an aged care facility that I was at previously uh, as the maintenance guy. So that's what I will be doing. Jenny's, uh, like I said, she's the FM at another one which is the facility manager. She'll be running the whole show. So she has a lot more responsibility to handle than what I've got. Anyway, so that's what we're up to. What we've been doing recently, a couple of other things that I forgot the other day and I thought I need to share this with you because it's, I believe anyway, it's all good stuff. And um, we painted our front fence it was just left raw, the way the builders uh, built it. I actually talked to the builder about staining it, painting it, whatever, and they wanted to leave it and let it go grey, uh, which is a popular way to do uh, timber, but I much prefer the stained look. We've done our fence posts black and the pickets in a teak colour, all made by Sickens, which is a great product for staining timber. I believe it's the best on the market here in Australia. Anyway, so. the fence is done and finished. Uh, right nearby where we live, just over, over the back fences over there and a couple of houses across, is the Mitchell River. And we go for lots of walks down there. And I thought I should share with you a bit of what it looks like probably 200 metres away from our house. Say hello. 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 Where are you, Jeff? I'm by the river. Which river? Of Babylon.
Well, a very nice room in Babylon. Over this coming weekend, I'm going to be um, catching up with a few family members and one of my grandsons has broken his leg, which is a bit unfortunate. So I'm going to try and catch up with them and uh, try and make things a little bit more pleasant. Try and make him happy, a happy chappy. <laughs> because they are, evidently they were playing on the couch, he and his sister, and um, things got a bit rough and he fell off and broke his leg. Wow. So I'm going to go and check that all out. And um, also on the weekend while we're down there, I'm going to get a barbecue. The barbecue, the, the grill that we had back at Cockatoo was made by um, Barbecues R Us in Mitcham. And um, the, there was a previous model and another model before that, which all made by Barbecues R Us and they've all been great at a couple of different houses and now here in Bansdale I want to get another one of their barbecues so I'll do a little bit a bit of a video about our new uh, barbecue cum grill which in this case will be a portable affair because I haven't got a built-in structure that I can use but they have all sorts of designs and models and ways to incorporate things out into your outdoor entertainment area so watch out for an upcoming video about what happens with the barbecue that's it for now guys hope you enjoyed all that i'm off to melbourne i've got to catch that train down this and away i go we'll see you all again very soon bye <laughs>